Hi guys, this is The Real Aquarian here. Thank you for joining me on today's read. Uh, in case you haven't already noticed, I am doing this reading uh, slightly different. I've had a lot of people message me and ask me um, right after I do a post um, uh, why I don't have videos or where the videos can be found. So I decided, okay, let me just put one up and uh, take it from there. Uh, so just a couple things. Uh, I'd like everyone to keep in mind that this is a general read, so it may not resonate with everybody. And that being said, just remember that if it doesn't resonate, that just means that today's message um, wasn't necessarily for you. Uh, but if it does resonate, uh, that is awesome. And as always, I ask you kindly to like, comment, share, repost, you know, all the things that is that are done. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you guys so far for the followers, the hearts, the comments. I absolutely love and enjoy your feedback. Um, and so, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, start today's read. We've got, uh, this is going to be a two-card general read for Monday, June 18th, 2018. So let me get my shuffle on here. what today holds. Okay. Go ahead and make sure you guys can see everything. Okay. So, first card we have Oh my, Nine of Swords. Okay, so this is already giving me an idea of your state of mind come Monday. Uh, so, I guess it's understandable since Mondays are, in fact, Mondays. Uh, but this is indicating to me um, a certain level of anxiety that you are going through. Now, we're not talking necessarily full panicky kind of anxiety. We're just talking about a heightened state, uh, an elevated uh, level of stress that is starting to, uh, shall we say, seep into other parts of your life. As you can see here, you have um, the man in bed uh, holding his face in worry. Um, so this is indicating that it is starting to affect, you know, your sleeping patterns. It can affect your eating habits. Um, it could even affect your sex life. I mean, worry and anxiety tends to do that. It, it, it becomes a real problem, uh, when it does start to infiltrate other aspects of your life. So this is something that we have to pay attention to, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's something, you know, overly big, you know, life shattering kind of, um, problem. It just means that either it's something that you might be fixated on or it's something, or I should say a combination of things, um, you know, little everyday stresses that, uh, if not alleviated in the moment, and a lot of times you can't, um, but if not alleviated in the moment, you find it sort of just builds up and stacks up to a point where then it starts to overflow, you know, um, so this is definitely an energy draining um, kind of signifier. Um, you just got to remember that, you know, the, the little things in life, the little stresses um, don't necessarily warrant your full attention and energy. You can pay attention to them. You can give them some focus, some acknowledgement, but you don't want to actually put your whole self out into like the smallest of things. You know, there's, there's things like you can't control. Like for example, that guy that, you know, cut you off or whatever the other day, don't hold on to that. You know, that's done, done and done. Like you don't need to keep, uh, keep that in you. So, uh, this is definitely also a perspective kind of card. Um, it's one of those, you know, that, that term, uh, don't sweat the small stuff because the small stuff, when it adds up, when it builds up, this is exactly what it'll do to you. It'll actually start impacting, you know, your daily routine, your general sense of being, your inner balance is thrown off by small things. And that's why you should just let those things go. There's a lot of things we can't control. Um, so it's, it's one of those, 
you don't want to let, um, yeah, I guess the overall meaning then would be, you don't want to let the small things or something that's bothering you um, affect absolutely every other part of you because, you know, you have that inner light, you have that um, inner harmony that all of us are um, striving to not only attain but maintain. And it's these little things that pop up that can kind of uh, set you askew. And so um, you want to let go of the, all the small stuff, especially the stuff that we really have no control over. So that's the outside world. This is more inside. This card is about what you are going to do about whatever it is that's bothering you, how you are going to respond. So let's go ahead and see what our next card is. Ah, okay, so we have the Magician here. Okay, so <laughs> this is a very fortuitous card and I especially like that it came after the Nine of Swords. So it's like, you know, what are you worried so much about? And the Magician is here to help you. The Magician is what's essentially giving you a boost here, which is always welcome. So being that it is a very positive card, um, these two cards together, are telling me that um, there may be doubts and worries about making a particular decision. Um, how to, you know, move forward from whatever situation that you're dealing with, whether that's everyday stresses, whether that's one fixated thing. Um, it just means um, that you're not um, doing yourself any favors by overthinking. Because just remember that hesitation is spawned uh, from doubt. Um, okay, so with the Magician, um, you have to think outside of the box. So keep your mind open. There's all sorts of solutions around you. One of the main obvious ones being let go whatever it is you can't control outside of your world. Um, even solutions that are possibly uh, things that you wouldn't normally consider because whatever you're doing right now, it's not working. Holding that, that all in, holding it, you know, bottling it up isn't helping you. It's, it's starting to mess with your sleep. It's starting to mess with that light that you have. Um, and that for general, you know, uh, positive outlook that you might have with the world, that's kind of starting to be affected by what's worrying you. And the magician is telling you that, uh, the pathway to your um, solution is inward. It's acknowledging what your own personal strength is. It's um, taking that energy that you do still have, you know, because this is draining, but whatever energy you still have and focus it inwards because you do already possess what you need. And we're talking your inner power. You already possess what you need to fix this. So um, all the little things you're holding on to, all the things that are messing with your state of mind, go inward. Because we all have power, no matter how helpless we may feel, power is within absolutely everyone. Um, so remember that nobody can take that from you. No event, no situation can take away your power. Your power is your own. That's part of what is so awesome about you is that's what makes you unique is your own power. Um, this is, a, this is uh, what I'm getting here is the need to uh, basically turn off a switch. You need to turn off the switch of fixation on the things that are messing with you, the things that are making you angry, the things that are making you unhappy, the things that are stressing you out. And to in turn turn on the switch of uh, the things that you can do, the things that you can control, the things that you can manifest. That's what the magician's all about, is manifesting the things you actually want. So take your fixation off the things you can't control and work on manifesting the things that you can control, the things that you do want, the things that you desire. Um, Just remember here that all the, you know, the negative stuff, the things that, you know, like doubt and worry and impatience and, you know, these are things that completely stunt and completely stifle your personal growth. 
And that's what we're all aspiring to. This is what life is made of, personal growth. So all you can do here, as the magician says, is do for you. You have to be thoughtful in your actions, you know, don't overthink but think. Um, but as long as you're acting with pure intentions, um, you can attain whatever it is that you want, whether that's just alleviating the stresses and getting better sleep, or maybe you're stressed over things that you're kind of wanting to manifest and you have doubts and hesitations and concerns about that. What this reading is telling you is that to move forward, you need to settle and resolve whatever it is that's bothering you, whatever it is that's blocking you. Um, because that's all on you. No one can uh, fix this for you. This is an inward um, issue. So uh, don't procrastinate on this either, because although this is a temporary card, okay, this signifies that this is, this is not a long-term kind of event, but it definitely can turn into one if you're not willing to necessarily put in the work, but what I mean, though, is if you're not willing to even acknowledge that there's a problem with how you're doing things. So, um, yeah, this is about the need to, the, the, this is about seeing an imbalance and then the need to fix your inner harmony. So um, listen to yourself. This is what the magician is saying. Listen to yourself, not the surface part of you that's causing sleep deprivation, that's fixating on small things. Um, but that actual inner part of you, that inner power, um, that desperately wants you to relax, that wants you to move forward, but do so in being at peace with yourself. So that's the overall message for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this read. Um, once again, please like, share, comment, um, if it resonates, if it doesn't, um, it wasn't a message for you today. Um, I'd also just like to quick note, uh, give a shout out to L and G gifts and goodies. They are my sponsor. So yay sponsor. Um, they really are cool though, guys. Um, if you wanted to stop by, um, their website or their Instagram page, show them a little love, that would be awesome. Um, I went ahead and attached the website and the discount link cause they are offering a discount, um, at the bottom in the description. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's read and I promise if there's, you know, um, if there's anything that you may or may not feel like I need to work on or whatever, uh, I'm, this is a work in progress. We're all growing, me included. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll just take it from here. So thanks again. And I hope you guys, uh, continue to follow at the real Aquarian on Instagram. See you guys tomorrow.